and welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Anuja. And I'm Hithil. And today we're making a nice pizza, right? Yeah. You know we've had a very thin and crispy crust. Today we're going to show you how to make the deep dish or the pan pizza or the nice bread-like thick crust. And it's a very simple recipe, so let's get started. Right. So here we have proofed the yeast. It's got one third plus one tablespoon of warm water, half a teaspoon of rapid rise yeast, and one teaspoon of sugar. And we've mixed it, kept it aside, covered it and kept it aside for about 10 minutes. Basically it's frothy and it's foamy. And it's uh, ready to go. So now to this we're going to add one tablespoon of milk powder or non-fat milk powder that we use for a lot of things. This is what it is, dry milk powder. And quarter teaspoon of salt and mix. So once that's ready, we have one cup of all-purpose flour or maida here and we're just going to knead a dough with this. And we're going to knead this for about three or four minutes. Here we're going to do a little experiment. So while Hethel's doing that, what we try to do over here is just to see, uh, you know, if this experiment works. Because in theory, it really should. But again, we don't know <laughs> if it will work or not. Uh, so we've added uh, dry milk powder to this recipe. So why can't we just use milk? Mm -hmm. So water and milk. That's what it is. We've used the same amount of milk that we had water in the recipe. And uh, now that recipe is a sure shot. Mm -hmm. We know it works. But we just want to, you know, just try it out. So we've taken the same amount of milk, that one third cup plus one tablespoon of milk. This is 1% milk and we've warmed it up and we have put the yeast to it. So it has uh, foamed up, really. It has frothed it up a little bit, but not as much as the water. Yes, That's the first less. thing we noticed, yes. So we're going to do the same thing and make another batch of the same recipe but with milk. So I'm going to go ahead and add just the salt, salt to this. So we've kneaded this for about three minutes and it's a nice smooth dough. Mm -hmm. And so to this we can add two teaspoons of oil and we're using olive oil. And we're going to knead this again now for another four to five minutes. It seems like a lot of oil right now but it will get absorbed into the dough. Mm -hmm. So I'd been kneading this dough for about five minutes and it's a really nice and smooth dough and all the oil got absorbed in it. So we're going to roll this out now. I have a rolling surface and I've floured it lightly just so it doesn't stick. And I'm going to roll it out. While Heather's rolling that out, I'm going to get everything else ready. Uh, here's a cake pan. This is a standard cake pan. Uh, but in case you want to know, it's called a nine inch round. So to this cake pan, we're going to be uh, greasing it. We're going to, uh, we can get away with one, uh, one teaspoon of oil, but if you want that crisp, crunchy mm -hmm. edges, you've got to put a little bit more. So like the restaurant do, actually, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, but authentic stuff. Right. <laughs> so here you go. We're going to put two teaspoons of olive oil. So there you go. Just grease it well. And I have rolled this out to just slightly bigger than our nine inch pan because uh, all purpose flour tends to um, shrink back once you roll it out. So just a little bit bigger and then we're going to put it in the pan. And we're just going to press it gently so that all the edges touch the sides of the pan and a little bit can actually go over too. So now this is ready. So we've warmed our oven to about 150 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to cover this with just a plate and we're going to let it sit in there for about an hour to an hour and a half and it's going to rise. Now the key to this is we use the rapid rise yeast and that lets us do this immediately. We rolled it out, you know, we made our dough, we rolled it out and it's going to rise in there. If you're not using the rapid rise yeast and you have regular yeast, then what you'd have to do is you'd have to knead your dough and make a little dough ball and then keep that dough ball in your warm oven and let it rise 
once and once it rises for about an hour you punch it down and then you roll it out and put it in your pan. So by using the rapid rise yeast yes. we save one step and probably about an hour of our time so which is valuable. Right. <laughs> so this is ready to go. We're going to put a plate on here again, cover it and into the oven for an hour. So our pizza dough is out of the oven and it sat there for about one hour and here it is. It looks good. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you know that little experiment we were doing with the milk, and this is that one. And look at it, it actually looks better. It's but better. Yeah, <laughs> it does. It's like risen a little bit more and looks really good. But we're not going to, you know, give any verdicts right now. We're going to wait right till the end and then let you know. Right, so our next process, of course, is we're going to bake these crusts uh, before we top them. So we want to go ahead and cook it a little bit and then add our toppings. So we have our oven going on at 425 degrees Fahrenheit, mm -hmm. and we're gonna bake these things for about uh, five to seven minutes. You want it uh, nice and golden, and every oven is different, but mm -hmm. keep an eye on yours. So our crust baked for about five minutes, mm -hmm. and it's beautiful, nice and golden, yes. and we pulled it out. Right. So, oh. so here we have some butter. What we're gonna do is just take it around the edges, and what this will do is give it that beautiful color, and an extra crispness. Just on the edges. Yeah. There you go. And now you can top it with your favorite uh, spaghetti or pizza sauce. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do that with ours. And we have some fresh mozzarella. Mm -hmm. um, you can use the shredded version also, but we just happen to have this and it tastes really good. So I'm going to put this on. Beautiful. Again, we, like we mentioned, you can put whatever you want. So we're going to put some olives. Some of your topping choices are um, onions, bell peppers, mm. mushrooms, jalapeno peppers. So the oven is still hot. When this is all done, it goes back into the oven for about 7 to 10 minutes. Again, keep an eye on it because these ovens, I don't know, they do a thing, you know. I know. <laughs> so we'll be back. So our pizzas are out of the oven and they cook for 10 minutes. Look fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have our pizza cutter. Mm -hmm. This is the one that was made with the milk powder. And this is the experiment. Oh, experiment with milk. the milk. Yes. Looks crispy. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, wow. it's beautiful. Beautiful. You can you know see the sponginess uh -huh. of it, you know the you can tell. There's air bubbles. Okay. You can hear it. Let's try this one. Check it out. Wow. wow. So I think at this point they look <laughs> very they look much uh, yeah. So I think that the taste is going to be the only thing left. Wow. And they're nice and crispy, so that's the best part. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to cut a small piece for here, for you and me. The verdict is, here's my <laughs> opinion, they both really, there's very little difference or actually there's none at all. Yeah. Really that we cannot, we cannot tell the difference. So I would use the milk and uh, skip that milk powder, you know, because everybody has milk at home. Right. So just skip that step and just you know use milk yeah in fact this is you know thicker so if at all this is more appealing looking than that one. right right and the thing we forgot to mention is when we did make the dough with the milk mm -hmm. we had to use one more tablespoon of milk yes, right than right. we did water so so the measurement for this would be a third of cup of milk plus two tablespoons of milk 
versus only one tablespoon of water here. So yeah, I think maybe we can put both the recipes so you guys can figure out. Which figure one out and choose do. choose your own. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean sometimes you know you don't you can't buy one percent milk, so now we don't know if you take like whole milk and use it, it may have a different effect. So if you we've used a one percent mm -hmm. of milk because that's what we had, had in the fridge, but if you you know if you don't can't find that if you just want to use milk powder, they both are very good. So, so enjoy yes. your bread pizza, your pan pizza, your deep dish pizza, <laughs> thick crust pizza. Right. And join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life. <laughs>